All right then YouTube, how's it going? It's been a while again. I know it always is with me. Today, <laughs> we're here to um, unbox and review a uh, sample kit from Sam's Detailing. So a while ago then, um, I was lucky enough to be reached out to by Sam's Detailing uh, and they said, we wanna send you out sample kits, a new product what we're launching. Contains, I think eight of our most best selling products. We want to send you one, do you want to do a review on it? And obviously I was like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so here it is, I've had it a while, like I say, I never got around to doing it. Um, more out of logistical reasons, didn't have the right equipment and stuff. So it's all sorted now, I've got everything I need. It's gonna be, as the title suggests, a unboxing and an in-depth review of each thing in here because it is going to be a long video, I promise you. Also, I want to film it in the style of Car Cleaning Guru. You've probably seen him if you've ever searched anything about detailing. So hopefully these products can provide um, the same, if not better, quality that I'm used to using. All right, so let's break into the, the seal. The, Clean, filmy stuff, what they put on, new things. And uh, yeah, very nice box. Got um, some signature on there. It's one of those uh, Apple style boxes, you know, where it's gonna take ages to fall out. But very nice box. Um, I mean, it is a box, what more can I say about it? It does have everything included on the back. So if you wanna pause and have a read at that, uh, yeah, let's just do the uh, the drop. Might be a while. Yeah, <laughs> it's one of them. There we go. We got it. Right, so, oh, wow. Very fancy. Have a look at that. Comes in a very nice uh, stand. Yeah, I call it a stand. So, contained is eight of their most popular products. And... Oh, they're, they're beautifully presented. They're all facing the right way and everything, which is uh, attention to detail. So, <laughs> ah, detail in products, attention to detail, get it? <laughs> so let's have a look at what we've got. It even says it at the front, look, how good is that? This is, this belongs in like a shop display, not in my bedroom. <laughs> so to start things off, we have a, uh, a ceramic boost followed by an exterior detailer we have a glass cleaner an interior detailer a iron reactor these are always good fun one is the shampoo the next is the ceramic wax now i'm uh, i'm quite excited for this one and the snow foam who doesn't love snow foam so yeah that is what is included um we're gonna try each one individually now Interior detailing, I'm not planning on doing a full interior clean of the car just yet. Uh, you'll see later on that it is in pieces at the minute. I'll try it on the dashboard maybe, but I'm not gonna be doing a full detail of the interior, but we'll give this its fair chance. And yeah, so let's, uh, let's go and clean the car, shall we? Just a quick thing to note then before we get into detail, and uh, that's that I haven't been paid in any way, shape or form to give false opinions on these products. I am allowed to give my honest review on them, so that's just what I'm gonna do. To start then, I just wanted to give you a quick look at the car so you could see the level of dirt that I was dealing with. And by no means is it filthy. It hasn't really been used in the past few weeks. But there's still a considerable level of challenge for Sam's products to have a crack at. Up first then is the iron and fallout remover. And after a quick rinse down with a jet wash, the product was sprayed on liberally. 
Like previously mentioned though, the car has actually only done around 6 miles in the past god knows how many weeks of lockdown. And that just being to the local Tesco and back, which is only a 2 minute drive away from me. So, that should mean that there's hardly any grime on the wheels at all. Prior to the lockdown when the car was last detailed, it was treated to some iron remover, so in theory there shouldn't be anything on these wheels. So I feel like this was considerably unfair to Sam's version of the product, however it did still manage to fetch some off, so we at least know that it works. I have no doubt that this stuff is perfect at what it says it will do, so top marks to this one. A great start then for Sam. Next up was the snow foam. So the sample bottle then uh, instructs you to use the whole 100ml diluted with 400ml of water. This gave me about half a bottle of the mixed solution. Now normally when I use snow foam, I like to use a considerable amount more than the 100ml of product. As me personally, I prefer a thicker foam. Now I know that this is a heavily debated topic amongst detailers, of which I'm far from one. And it seems here that uh, Sam sits on the opposite side of the debate to me. The foam then, it's quite thin for my liking. I don't doubt that it does its job well enough though. So I can't really knock it any points based on my childish like for thicker suds. Now I did adjust the land slightly to get this solution to come out a little bit thicker, but still, I wish it could have been that little bit more. Though I'd like to think that Sam knows better than me when it comes to snow foam, and I'm sure he does, so... To be fair, the results speak for themselves, so once again, top marks, Sam. Quickly moving on then before the rinsed off paintwork dries up, it was time to test out the shampoo. Now the bottle says to use two squirts which to me didn't feel like quite enough so I thought what harm is there in going for another one. After filling up the wash bucket half with water, I always like to stick the jet wash in there for the other half just to really froth it up. However, once I started to use it, I quickly found that again, it was a little bit too thin for my liking. I feel like this must be intentional that both the shampoo and the snow foam were quite thin. Perhaps there's no need for the thicker suds that I like to see, but what do I know? I'm not a detailer. The shampoo did work though, so... I can't really fault it, it does what it says it's going to do. After rinsing the Fiesta down and making a start drying it, I noticed that the car was covered in what looked and felt like glue. All down the driver's side, I've, I've no idea what it was or how it even got there, but... I had to crack out the tar and glue remover to get it all off. Now I don't blame Sam's stuff at all for not fetching it off as no shampoo in the world could have done it. It needed a dedicated glue remover. And Sam does offer that in his range but unfortunately I didn't have any to hand so I had to use a different one which is why I didn't film it for this video. On to Sam's glass cleaner next then, and my favourite product of the set so far, though that's soon to change further on in the video, so I'll make sure you stay tuned. Now when it comes to cleaning car windows, I'm often mocked by a certain someone for being notoriously bad at it, 
That's because no matter what product I use, I can never seem to get a streak-free finish when others can with the same stuff. But I'm happy to announce that that is a thing of the past and uh, Sam's glass cleaner will be making a permanent addition to my collection. I don't know how, but for the first time ever, I was able to achieve a crystal clear finish, which, to my relief, means that I can't be mocked anymore. Also, just to point out that I did leave some of the glue stuff on uh, the driver's window, just to test out the cleaner to see if it could shift it. And to my surprise, it actually did, so bonus marks for that, Sam. Nice mm. one. I just hope that the footage captures just how good the results look as it does to my eye because cause I just couldn't believe what I was seeing after I had cleaned the window successfully. Moving swiftly on to the next tester then, and that being the exterior detailer. Now, you can't really go wrong with these. A quick solution to adding some extra gloss to your paintwork with hardly any effort. That's not to love. I'm sure you know the deal with these quick detailers by now, but just in case you're new to them, it's so easy to use, you just spray them on, work it into the panel and buff it off with a separate cloth. And Sam's version doesn't disappoint either. It works just as well as any of its competition. And to be fair, it's actually cheaper than the others that I normally use. So it's definitely something to keep in mind. Next on the agenda was the interior detailer. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I wasn't really planning on doing a full clean up of the inside. That's because I had screws and plastic trim all over the place. Keep your eyes open for the next video to find out why. But nonetheless, I still needed to try out the product, so I chose to give the centre console a bit of a wipe down. Now, to me, all interior detailers are the same. Maybe some of the cheaper ones leave smears on glossier surfaces, but for the most part, I think they're all pretty good. Again, no exceptions here. It does what it says on the tin, and I can't argue with it, so fair play. So at this point then, I was losing daylight, and I decided to call it a day and finish off the rest the next, but... I thought it'd be rude not to give you a small taste of what the car sounds like on a cold start after not being turned over for at least a week, if not more. Next day. The next day then, and only two of Sam's products left to test and review. Turns out, I saved the best to the last. The ceramic wax and ceramic boost were the two remaining suspects, and I've got to say right away that these are the cream of the crop out of this sample kit. First up, the wax, and even though... I didn't have an applicator pad to hand, the products still work wonders with this substituted plush microfiber instead. There's not much I can say about it other than it's proper good. Super easy to apply, it doesn't dry up too much to the point where you're struggling to buff it off. 
It bees like crazy afterwards. Bang on. Perfect. And that's only half the story. The ceramic boost that you apply on top of the wax. I mean, just look. Just look at how good it is and how well it beads and shines. So easy to apply. You literally just spray it on and, and rinse it off. There's, it couldn't be easier. I don't think the footage is going to do it justice, but believe me, to, to the eyes, it's unreal. So that's going to do it then for this review of the Sam's Detailing Sample Kit. Overall, I'm very impressed with most of these products. I'll definitely be making some changes to my uh, cleaning product shelf. As well as giving some of the others like the Snow Foam a second chance. Do I recommend these products then? Well, I feel like that's for you to make your own mind up about. I definitely recommend getting the sample kit and trying it for yourself as... There's no harm in giving them a go, is there? Also, as a bonus for making it all the way to the end of the video, if you do want to get yourself one of these sample kits, then I've been given a code for you to use, which gives you a fiver off the price. Bargain. So overall then, shout out to Sam's Detailing for sending me out one of these kits to try out. Really appreciate you. And uh, to everybody else, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next video.